Will coming off of a school bus caught on camera a scary sight for some Duval County Public School students and parents. The wheel of a school bus came right off while the bus was actually driving the route. This is the video you see next to me and it kept rolling down the road as the bus driver pulled over and it was the second time in three days this happened. All your size Brianna Ray Turner is joining us live at James Weldon Johnson College Prep Middle School where the bus was leaving from and Brianna the school bus vendor is now taking steps to make sure this doesn't happen again. Yes, Anthony, that's correct. Student Transportation of America says the bus is no longer in service and since the incident there has been an inspection. But after talking to the mom today, she says her daughter is just nervous to go back on that bus. This is video of school bus 441 losing a tire Monday after picking up students from James Weldon Johnson College Prep Middle School. Here's another video of the same bus on Wednesday losing another tire. This mom's child rides the bus. She's fed up. If the wheels are not maintained, you know what? You know, what are they? What's going on? What, what are people doing? This is second week of school. Lizette Fadida says on both days, her child recorded the wheel rolling away from the school bus. At first it was, you know, it was funny. It was a bunch of middle school kids on the bus, everybody just laughing, joking. But the second time, that that's really when the stress kind of hit. Uh, she was just nervous. The Student Transportation of America says it was an isolated maintenance issue that caused the wheel to fall off the school bus, taking kids to school. I'm definitely concerned. I'm, I'm worried about the safety for my daughter uh, on the bus. Definitely safety for the for every all the other kids on the bus and the bus driver. STA sent First Coast News a statement that says in part, quote, as we continue investigating, we are taking proactive steps to ensure this does not happen again. STA has already purchased the pertinent replacement equipment at every Jacksonville terminal. We are also reviewing and adjusting our processes, emphasizing our required pre-route equipment checks and daily communications with drivers and terminal workers. Duval County Public Schools uh, tells me that they call this incident um, unacceptable and they said they are thankful that no one was injured um, and they will continue to hold STA accountable for ensuring incidents like these don't happen. I'm live here in Jacksonville. Brianna Ray Turner, First Coast News on your side.